Hello. So previously we've built a basic API for our posts and we built this beautiful playground using Open API and Swagger. And let's try getting a list of posts. So I've got an API key. I will authorize it. I will uh, go to get, try it out and execute. And here we get, okay, API limit exceeded. So let me go to our application, to our user model and I will increase this API limit. That was just uh, 50 requests uh, per 30 days for an example that really is not a lot. So, okay, I made this request to get a list of all the user's posts and you see the list is quite uh, big, so quite a lot of records. And usually when you have an API application and you allow get requests for a list of records, then you would want to add pagination because most likely you would uh, possibly have lists of the thousands of records and you would have unnecessary loads on your server and uh, um, this data or like thousands of of records in one response could not always be actually valuable for your clients. So a uh, very good practice and a very common practice in API applications where you have a get uh, of a list of records to use uh, pagination. So we are going to add pagination in this episode and we are going to add a cursor based, oh no, not cursor based, but like regular pagination with the page into our API. And here is just an example of uh, pagination in uh, meta for Instagram. So we have a get request to get a list of uh, records and we have a data payload where we have the actual records and then we have pagination where we have, uh, a, for example, URL to the next page, a URL to the previous page and uh, potentially also cursors. So let's see how we can add pagination with pagey. First of all, I will install pagey. So I will go and say bundle add Pagey. Now uh, going to the page documentation, I'm going to add page backend and I'm going to add it uh, inside our API of posts. So I'm going to add this line only where we actually use pagination and let's uh, add pagination to our index list. So I will say uh, user posts equals current user dot posts. I'll comment this out and then I will say at pagey at posts equals pagey uh, user posts and I would say for this example we can have uh, two items per page so items equals two and uh, let's try making an API request uh, once uh, again and see if it works so going back I execute will it succeed uh, initialized constant uh, post controller page okay why was it not uh, initialized let's uh, see I can try restarting the server again I will add the API key make the request okay and you see we have just uh, two records that are visible if I change it to one record per page and execute, we have one record visible. Okay, so uh, what if we want to, let's say, get the second page of posts? Uh, we would uh, need to add this functionality to our API. So we would need to update our open API documentation. I will go to Swagger VML and I'm going to go to this get request. And here I will say that we're going to have parameters for this request so parameters and uh, it will be uh, so in query uh, we will have a parameter named the uh, page so name will be page uh, the schema uh, will have type integer uh, yeah the indentation is a bit broken so yeah type integer uh, minimum one and uh, we can add some kind of description as uh, uh, like page number let me refresh our api going to get posts and here we have an option to add the page number to our params so uh, let's uh, try it out. I will add a page number like two. And here we have uh, 
page two in the params. Let's try uh, using this API key. So uh, I will use the API key. I will uh, try getting the second page. Here we have the post with ID four. I'll get the first page, post with ID three. So yeah, the pagination seems to be present in the API docs and uh, in the controller, but we need to also uh, add some kind of uh, information about the previous page, the next page uh, to our users as, for example, does uh, in the API responses uh, Facebook. So how can we add this uh, kind of information? Well, we are going to need to update our JSON uh, response. It is present in our uh, index JSON J builder. So how can we update it? Uh, let's have a look. So uh, Facebook has data and inside the data there is uh, the list of records. So we're going to wrap this into a data header. So I will say json.data do. We will have array and end. Let's see the updated response. Okay, you see it is wrapped into data. And we will also need some kind of information about uh, uh, paging. So uh, let's add another json.pagin do and uh, let's try adding some kind of, uh, yeah, let's just see if it uh, renders anything. It doesn't render anything at the moment because uh, it is empty. What if we try json.foo bar? Will it render anything? Yes, you see, it renders full bar. But we need some kind of pagination information. So uh, we can get it from uh, Page. So page has uh, this uh, extra for, uh, how's it called, for metadata. And uh, you see it is used for client-side JSON rendering. So uh, I'm going to add this to our page initializer that I'm also going to create. I will say page.rb, add metadata. I will restart the server because I have added changes in initializers. And uh, now we can pass page metadata page. So let's uh, try getting this information in our post controller. Here we will try to understand what this page metadata at page does. Let's, uh, let's see. I will put a debugger here, debugger. And uh, I will make an API request. Here we are in the debugger. Let's see what page metadata at page gives us. Okay, so like a lot of information about the pagination and we are going to need uh, some of it. So the most useful, for example, looking at the API of uh, uh, Instagram is uh, previous link, next link. Uh, uh, I would also say it is very useful to have the count of uh, pages, the current page, so yeah, let's uh, just use some of this data and we're going to render this uh, uh, collection in our uh, JBuilder. So I will click continue and uh, I will say add page metadata equals page metadata from page. Okay, and now this is going to be accessible inside our JBuilder file. So uh, here inside our JSON page and we can say json dot uh, extract uh, from page metadata and we're going to let's say instruct extract brief url um, we're going to extract the uh, next url we can extract the uh, count uh, uh, the current page and uh, the uh, number of the next page so next Let's see if this works. I'm going to make a request once again. And here we have page in, so previous URL, next, total pages, current page, next page, number. Okay, let's uh, try changing the page quantity in our controller. Let's say, oh, the pagination quantity. Let's say we'll have three records per page. I'll make a request. Okay, here is the updated response. We have, uh, oh yeah, this is the count of total records. So we are on the first page, the next page is second. What if we try, uh, let's say, going to the 50th page? V, let's have a look here in the console. Yeah, we are getting a page overflow error. And here you see we also got an internal server error. So it wasn't successful. So we need to handle uh, 
uh, the case if a user adds a page that does not exist. And for this, we are going to uh, use page overflow. So we are going to require page extras overflow inside our page.rb. And we are going to say that the uh, page default overflow strategy is uh, going to be, uh, I think it's empty page. Now I will uh, restart the server. And uh, once again, I will try to execute. Okay, and you see we have uh, empty data. And here's the information. So the previous URL is the URL to the highest level of pages. The next URL is empty. The next uh, number is null. So this way we know that there is no next uh, page. So yeah, this seems to be working. And just if this naming doesn't uh, sit right with you, like you want to be more explicit to tell that this is not just count, but the like total records count, we can uh, also update our jbuilder response uh, a bit. So uh, how can we do it? Let's, uh, let's see. We can have, uh, for example, uh, json.paging do we will comment this out and uh, yeah we'll comment this out and we will say json dot uh, equals uh, at uh, pagination or oh, at page metadata and we'll have uh, priv url let's see if this works okay we have priv and the same way we can do the names and the values of all the other records. So next URL will be next, count uh, will be total records count. Let's see if this works. Yeah, so here you see we are overriding uh, the default names so that it is uh, more understandable to the users what these particular values uh, can potentially mean. Okay, so I guess this is it for this episode. We have added the uh, pagination to our API. We have uh, handled errors. We have uh, uh, added a few different ways of uh, displaying the pagination metadata. And yeah, we have uh, updated did our open API file so that we can also add the page param to our uh, request. So that's about it. And thanks for being with me and see you in the next one.